Hi guys, so today I have a very, very exciting haul for you and this is a spooky jewellery haul. Now on Facebook this popped up as a suggestion and when I saw it I pretty much like, I died and turned into a ghost. I absolutely loved this so much. Straight away I went and contacted the lady who owned the store and I was able to get one of these gorgeous necklaces. Now this is an Etsy store called Dale of the Dead and I will link them down below along with all of their relevant social media etc and they make some awesome awesome jewellery pieces and this is one of their newest releases which whew, it is amazing. So it came in this little black package on the back it has this little spooky eye sticker and I have actually opened it up just so I could see what was inside to make sure it was what I thought it was but I haven't actually properly opened anything yet. So inside of this black bag there is another little bag and this is a black organza bag and it has a shirt ton in there especially for the fact that I only ordered a necklace. So I'm going to take it all out very carefully. I can see some confetti okay no the confetti is inside another bag so it's not going to go anywhere so straight on top they have their business card i love it when companies send business cards a little section on my pin board just for like spooky business cards from different companies so, so this is her dale of the dead business card it says dale of the dead at the top original art jewelry and much more and then it has this little kind of it looks a bit like a raven skull maybe or a crow skull very detailed i love all like the different colors within it and the little stars and it seems to have some little kind of crystal or gem or something attached to the top and then it has a link to her etsy and also her facebook so i will leave those down below as well as her instagram that is a very professional looking card and i'm glad that it gave me all the links so it saves me a job later looking them all up so also in here there are these bits so i'll show you these just before i get to the really really exciting stuff so in here she has put a little package and on it it does actually say that it is a free gift which is very nice and it has a little flower with an eye in which, which i see in a lot of her photos and her packaging and stuff so i think this may be like one of her sort of logos which she uses so this is a little plastic package and inside it seems like there is a print a sweet a sticker and also a shed ton of little pumpkin confetti pieces oh my goodness there is pumpkins everywhere so inside she's actually put a really nice print now this is the same picture which was on her business card and i really really like those print excuse these rogue pumpkins which have decided to join the party it is a very shiny print i definitely feel like i'm probably going to be framing this i feel like it'll go very well in the background although also i've just thought maybe it'll go nicely with like my curiosity cabinet which has all my taxidermy pieces in so i really really like that it's a really nice little touch um i love this kind of like watercolory effect with all the stars and that is a gorgeous print i wonder whether or not she drew it or not i wouldn't be surprised if she did so i now have a shared ton of pumpkins which are falling all over my bed so i'm gonna put them back in here to keep them safe um so as you can see she's put in loads of pumpkin confetti and i always save all my confetti for a later date and then she's also put a mawam in here and this is my favorite flavor how did she know again with a rogue pumpkin on it mm. Mm. i love apple mawam so much she has actually really kindly put two little stickers in here so there's this eyeball with bat wings and also one which is like a plain eyeball so the necklace itself is really nicely bubble wrapped in here and inside the bubble wrap it is in a little plastic bag just to keep it safe oh wow oh my goodness this looks even better now i've taken it out of the package I love this so much so this is an acrylic piece as you can see i love my acrylic pieces i'm wearing my little acrylic pumpkin now i have another little pumpkin piece i did say in a past video i am starting to build up my pumpkin pieces and when you see this you will understand why i needed it so badly i'm gonna give you a few minutes to take this in look at it it is absolutely gorgeous it is so so detailed so it is an acrylic piece it's nice and thick i won't be worrying about breaking this because it feels like it is very very sturdy it is orange but it does have a kind of almost like see-through layer to it almost and then on the front look at it it's so so detailed so there's lots of different shades within the orange there's some yellows as well it has a little black cat ears a little black cat tail and it's carved into a cat face so it has lovely little triangular eyes a little triangle nose and little whiskers and a lovely face on and on the inside it has a glittery effect now it's not actually glittery which i'm very pleased about because i was slightly like confused as to how the glitter would look 
like in an acrylic form so I'm pleased that it's not actual like real glitter um, but it is kind of like got the glittery effect so it does look as if it's shimmering and I think that's a really nice effect to have that purple detail it almost looks as if the pumpkin has like a little candle in it and it's all kind of glistening inside I just think that is absolutely beautiful and it is attached at the top with this little hole um, and it goes onto a larger ring now this necklace is not actually like attached to the chain in the fact that it does move around so if you wanted to you could take this off the chain and change it for a longer or shorter chain or even a black cord but as usual I will be keeping mine on the original chain so it is quite a long chain i feel like this is probably going to hang slightly lower than my usual necklaces which i'm absolutely fine with because it means it's going to be slightly easier to stack with all my other pieces it has your regular lobster clasp and a very large hoop for clipping onto which is so handy some jewelry pieces i get have such a small hoop it takes so long for me to clip them onto each other so i'm very pleased that that is going to be so easy to put on the acrylic itself has a really nice weight to it. I feel like I'm going to have no problems with this travelling around my neck. As I have said in past videos, sometimes I have issues with acrylic necklaces if they're not heavy enough because they end up like slowly disappearing around the back of my neck just if the chain is too heavy. Um, but this seems like a really, really nice weight and I'm so, so pleased with this. So this cute little cat pumpkin cost eight pounds which i feel like is a really good price it's definitely a very high quality jewelry piece i feel like i'm going to be getting a ton of wear out of this so it costs eight pound and then with shipping it bought it to just under ten pound which i think again is a super super amazing price so i will leave a direct link down below if you are planning to buy one of these off of etsy The customer service the lady was really amazing to talk to she replied to my messages very quickly I left her a comment on Facebook and I think it took her about 30 seconds to reply so I was very very pleased with the customer service and these were sent out so quickly I think I ordered it around like 10 o'clock at night on the Wednesday and it was here by Friday morning so I was incredibly incredibly pleased with how quick her service was and as you can see everything came amazingly packaged I have actually not bought anything from Dale of the Dead before but it was an amazing amazing shopping experience so I'm going to definitely be going back and checking out all of her other stuff so thank you so much for watching I hope that you're having a spooktacular Halloween if you do have any questions or comments please do leave them down below if it's sunny where you are I hope you enjoy the shade and I'll see you next time